Hey everyone, it's Quentin with Caterpillar Ranching. Thanks for subscribing to YouTube, following on Instagram, all that good stuff. Go and checking out ranching.com. Today we got the Oxy Lance Sure Cut Mini Torch. Also known as a thermal torch. Check it out. There's the box. Just kind of came out the package. You'll see it's a sweet kit. It's got a watertight seal. Go ahead and open it up. Look at that. Like I said, you throw in the back of your service truck. Made by DeWalt. Kind of see the little imprint in there. So this is exactly how I got it. I'm going to go ahead and take it out, take some foam pieces out. It's got the good old instructions in there. You know how that is. It's going to have all that good stuff, some packaging, get all that stuff out of our way. And here we are. Now we're talking business. It's got the heat shield to protect your hand. It's got the adapter. That's where you're going to slide your collets in, inside there. It's got your oxygen regulator. So with this, you're pretty much going to need a, an oxygen tank and a battery. Other than that, you know, I'm pretty sure that's about it. You can see here that it's, uh, it's got a plug on there. Kept nice and clean. We'll struggle a little bit to get all this pulled out, but we'll get this all pulled out. Then we'll start getting started and showing you all the different pieces to it. You know, we're going to have the positive clamp. For starters, you're going to have your negative clamp. Then you're going to have your oxygen hookup, your line for your oxygen. So give me a second. Go grab a pair of dikes. Once I grab these dikes, I'm going to go ahead and cut this and start to show you guys what I got going on here. It's, I got these bad boys from Michael Pro. Shout out Michael Pro. They actually got some pretty good quality tools. Go check them out. Uh, they sent me sent me a few things. I've been more than more than surprised at how good their quality is. All right, here you got your negative cable with your striker. So you're going to hook that up to the negative side of the battery, put the striker on the ground. That's how you're going to light it off. You're going to touch the, you're going to obviously touch the, the mini torch with your um, rod. All right, here's your positive clamp that's hooked up to your gun with the heat shield and everything. Hook that up to the po positive side of your battery. You could interchange out the different collets inside there for the different sizes. Here goes your oxygen hookup. Hook that up to your regulator, regulator to the tank. Then you can go ahead and regulate that. Pretty much from, if I remember right, about 60 to 100 PSI where we're running on this bad boy. So check out these. You can see the spiral. They actually can connect to each other. The good old Caterpillar wrench and sticker. Here's the kit. We got a frozen pin finally. It took me a couple weeks to finally get a frozen pin to where you know, we're always gonna try to press it out if we can, but these these threads were stripped out, so we actually had to, uh, this was a dump machine. Those threads have already been trying to, they've already been messed with, so unfortunately for us, we're, uh, we're lancing this thing, but no big deal since we got the Oxy Lance sure cut torch. And we're going in on this bad boy. This is Zach, he's one of my technicians. He's never used the thermal lance before. So I said, hey, let's have some fun, let's do it. And uh, so this is his first time, he did a great job. His boss kind of went in there, his me, that's me, and went in there and fucked it up right at the end. I'll show you guys, it's something that happens when you're playing with fire, you know? Sometimes you get burned, and I got burned on this one. Gotta make sure you keep that, uh, keep that, um, rod nice and straight 
vertically, side to side, up and down. I know you always try to work the top of the pins and kind of let the lava flow out the bottom. So you'll see here, the lava's flowing pretty good, going into this pin. Later on, I realized, you know, reading the directions, you know, it always helps to read the directions. I just always like to burn big ass holes so that way I can use a, uh, a rod and pull it, press out the pin sometimes. But reading the directions um, from oxylance.com, it says all you need to do is pierce it the size of the rod just all the way through the pin. And what we're going for when we're doing that is we just want to create a, a void inside that pin so once it expands, um, yeah, here's here's me. I come and fuck things up right there at the end. But once it expands, it contracts again and it gets smaller, and then we're able to easily get the pin out. Which, in this case, you can see me. I finally jump in there, give it about two seconds, and bam! Uh, you can see the flame coming from the inside of there. So luckily, I didn't hit the hit the cylinder I just hit nick the bearing a little bit and then I went into the frame a little bit right there so that's what you're seeing um not not too scared to say not not mad enough to say that I fucked up on this one Ooh, a little too high right there like. unfortunately it happens and uh you know had to get my machinist in there and got to make it right we work for the dealership so the machinist shout yeah, out to him Jake fuck up Lansing. He came and uh, he machined it up for me, welded it and machined it, but I'm telling you, they work so damn good. Go check them out, oxylance.com. You can accidentally uh, fuck up some stuff with them too, but hey, that's part of the game. Got to keep it straight. Have a great day.